yes, those are live pictures on your screen right now coming from Matungu constituency, which is south of Kakamega County, mm -hmm. where uh, as mayor candidate, ODM candidate, uh, if you like, uh, Fernandez Barraza is uh, about to cast his ballots live there on your screen. Let's listen in. Nandis Baraza, a governor mtakiwa county ya Kakamega. Uh, kwanza kabisa uh, nimeshapiga kura hapa Bulimbo Primary. Na shughuli ya kupiga kura imeenda sawa sawa. Uh, jambo ambalo ningependa uh, kwa si na pia kuwatangazia wafuasi wetu uh, tuko na low voter turnout. Watu watoke kwa manyumba kwa wingi ili wakuji wapige kura. Uh, kwa sababu kupiga kura ni haki yako. Uh, Nimeonelea hapa Bulimbo is one of the biggest polling stations hapa Matungu lakini alijakuwa na very high voter turnout na mimi kama kiongozi wa hapa ningependa kuambia wale wote ambao wajapiga kura wakuje kwa wingi ili mchague gavana wenyu mtarajiwa ambaye ni Fernandez Barasa na labda kuhusiana usalama na mikakati ya ABC katika kuhakikisha kwamba shughuli inaendelea vizuri Uh, mambo ya usalama uh, iko salama hatujakuwa na visa vivyote hapa za usalama jambo tu ambalo tumeona kwa wingi sana ni mambo ya voter bribery uh, mpinzani wangu ambaye ni Clefas Malala amekuwa akinunua wapiga kura wengi sana kwa vituo mbalimbali nimetembea hapa matungu almost all the polling stations uh, there is a lot of voter bribery which in my uh, considered opinion hiyo ni an election offense and i want to urge ibc na all the security agencies to make sure they take action so that watu wapige kura kwa haki na uhuru that, without that's a, intimidation that's a very serious allegation do you maybe have any evidence uh, to prove that and if so you have reported the authorities we have already reported the authorities uh, even here we had people who are dishing out money uh, we have evidence so i've already reported the authorities issues around voter bribery because it's happening all over the place. In fact, when you move around, you like to witness uh, the voter bribery is uh, is all rampant across the board. And that is why I'm asking IBC and all the security uh, agencies uh, to make sure that they actually prevent voter bribery. Uh, people should be allowed to exercise their democratic rights by voting without uh, coercion and intimidation. Is this law to voter turnout, is it related to with the, the postponement of the election, maybe from 9th to today? Uh, in, I think in my opinion, uh, the, vote, the law of voter turnout is typical of a by-election. Uh, this is more or less like a by-election. And usually when you have a by-election, uh, we don't have a very large voter turnout. And that's why I'm taking this opportunity to urge all um, the supporters, of my supporters, Uh, to come up with large numbers so that they can actually vote and exercise their democratic right of um, electing or rather voting uh, for their governor who is Fernandez Barraza. Initially, you had indicated that uh, IBC went to the 
Uh, so far, uh, I've only checked a few uh, cases, um, uh, not here, but in other polling stations, where Kimskis have failed. Uh, we've had around four cases uh, in Holera Primary. Uh, we also had a case in uh, Ngairwe uh, Primary. Uh, even here, I'm told uh, there is one stream that uh, the Kimskis have failed. So what I've done is to uh, contact uh, the count returning officer uh, so that we can have an alternative uh, in terms of uh, authorizing use of the manual register. Uh, that is something that will also uh, affect uh, voter turnout because when people have come to vote and they are not given an opportunity because of a uh, kid failing, uh, that definitely will affect voter turnout. So my request uh, to IBC is to ensure that they address the issues around the Kimskit uh, because uh, for me it is something that um, is going to affect our voter turnout. And it is important when the Kimskis have failed, they quickly authorize use of the manual register because it's an alternative that has been provided by the law. The election is about winning and losing. Mm -hmm. If you lose, will you have to look at that? Of course, the election is about winning and losing. But I'm confident Kakamega people will elect me the second governor of Kakamega County. Yeah. If you lose, if you lose will you have to look at that? Uh, definitely, um, if it is fair, uh, I will accept. But. Um, what I just want to urge my supporters, we are going for nothing other than a win today. We have the first lady here. My name is Janet Kasili Barasa. I'm the incoming first lady of Kakamega County. How, 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 how do you find the process so far? The process is so far is fair and quick. I've only taken around two or three minutes in the room, but uh, unfortunately we have very few voters standing out to come and vote. So we would like to urge the voters, whatever they are, to come out and vote in large numbers. You know, this is the day we have been waiting for. So we have no option but to vote, and vote in the right governor, who is Fernandez Barraza.